to everyone in the world. Today we are going to finally take a look at the solar uh, mercury vapor 175 uh, bulb. Um, and well, a little bit of history first. Um, solar is like a Mexican brand that was uh, held by the, actually the, I think the Mexican government that used to make um, uh, bulbs, uh, uh, lighting bulbs and all kind of electrical stuff I think in in the from the 1960s up to the 1980s and then it was well um it it was like absorbed by other uh, uh, bigger companies like um Philips and stuff and as you can see they they were making the, the factory was in 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 Monterrey Nuevo León that is like in the northern part of the country and well for this, uh, I think this is such a unique bulb, and nowadays it's so rare to see um, this kind of stuff being made in Mexico, so that's why I like so much this bulb. And okay, first we take a look at the at the actual box, and um, uh, here we have like this uh, so 1980s uh, style, um, like uh, presentation with uh, here it says a uh, mercury vapor lamp. Um, solar uh, uh, made in Mexico in Churubusco, uh, uh, Monterrey, Nuevo León. So yeah, uh, I, I I like this this nineteen eighties um, um, aspect of the of the of the box. And here we have uh, the usual the usual um, warnings. Uh, when it comes to operating a, a HID bulb without the outer bulb and all the things that we always um, uh, read in, in, in HID bulb um, packaging. But anyway, I will uh, translate it in the, in the, descri in the des description below and there you can see it. Um, because here it's written in Spanish. But anyway, so we take a look, a closer look at the actual bulb. And as you can see, it's a standard BT28 um, outer bulb. Uh, it's a clear topper, and actually, it's really similar to my uh, also vintage um, Luxram 250 watt mercury vapor bulb that is almost at the end of of its life. But anyway, um, this one is actually brand. Um, a uh, new old stock and uh, you can see the R2 is not blackened at all and you, here you can see the Edge uh, Solar 175 um, H39 the ballast uh, slash 22 I don't know what that means if you know please tell me below HC also I don't know what that means but uh, the slash DX I think is the, the looks white in the phosphor so I assume this bulb was made around um, 1985 perhaps 1985 and 1988 but anyway as you can see the um, um like the the uh, structure that um that uh, keeps the the arc tube in place is really rigid this is actually this is fairly well made i don't i'm not going to say this is uh, as well as as the westinghouse um uh, as the regular Westinghouse made in, in, in the USA, but this is not bad at all. So anyway, as you can see, here is the bulb, here is the old box, and with no more to say, let's go to the lab and prove it. Okay, as you can see, we have now installed the um, 175 watt solar bulb in this um, NEMA head fixture. An appropriate 175 in my fixture to run this bulb, and we turn the, off this lamp over there, and here we go. <clears throat> nice pink star there, as always, as is a deluxe white um, mercury bulb. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, and I think I, I will adjust the exposure here. There you go. You can see the arc tube from the outside of the coating, so that suggests that the coating is not that very thick at all. 
take a look over here to the arc tube. The actual naked arc tube as this bulb is a clear topper. And well, there you go. Let's see it warming up. So as you can see, the bulb has reached full brightness. Um, it has been burning for about uh, five minutes now. And if you take, let's, let's take a look at this uh, color chart. Um, if you can, as you can see, the color reproduction of the of the bulb is amazing. Um, well, the for example, the red tones uh, like from uh, the blue to the orange. Uh, appear more like um, like artificial. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't look uh, really uh, natural. It looks like shiny. But anyway, as you can see, the the color reproduction of this phosphor is amazing. So well, there you have it. This um, solar um, 175 Mexican mercury paper bulb. And as you can see, it's pretty well made. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.